inventions ever. I told you that modifying the wind load ratio would generate a much higher lift. Good call. Although I told you that streamlining the airfoil would not only look better, but lower the drag coefficient. And you were so right. But I was right first. Guys, I think I found it. The perfect spot for my community garden project. I'm going in for a closer look. Kara, watch your descent. He's back on the throttle or the engine might stall. He's fine to me. You guys worry too. Watch. Are you hurt? She's hurt! Baron von Ravendale, call the royal physician! Right away, your highness. I don't need a doctor. Seriously. Mom? Dad? I'm fine. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Darling, you just fell out of the sky. I believe that absolutely qualifies as something to worry about. And another thing, young lady. Ah! Are you okay? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I'm fine. Oh. We'll fix you right up. Guys, I am so sorry. It's not your fault. We didn't anticipate the drop in manifold pressure. Oh! Back to the digital design board. Live and learn. Next time I'll remember to purge the rudder. Cowl. The knee. There will be no next time, young lady. What on earth were you thinking? You could have been critically injured. Or worse. It's no big deal. I'm fine. Now, can we please talk about something more important? Like the fact that I found the best spot ever for my community garden project? It's right near the creek, so the soil gets plenty of water for irrigation, and everyone in the kingdom can help. People can get outdoors, get to know each other. You know, really connect. Kara, am I to understand that you just risked your life looking for a spot to grow cucumbers? <laughs> No, <laughs> not just cucumbers. I'm pretty sure we'll plant zucchini, turnips, maybe even some pea pods. This isn't amusing, Kara. Mom, Dad, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you like that. I just want to contribute something to the kingdom. Of course, my dear. Ah, you could act as Grand Marshal at the annual parade. I meant something important. Representing the royal family with a well-placed wave is important. And safe. More like boring. Kara, you and your sisters are the future of this kingdom. And the world is a much more dangerous place than you realize. Isn't that so, Baron? 
Without question, your majesty. These are troubling times indeed. See? There. Ah. Our most wise and insightful advisor agrees. And he has never been wrong before. That's me, reliable to a fault, faithful servant to the crown. But no more proofs. Now I shall finally claim what is rightfully mine. Everyone knows it was my family who first claimed the kingdom of Windermere centuries ago. Granted, my great-great-grandfather lost it during a rather foolish game of rock, paper, scissors, but still, it should belong to me! I want to sit in the big chair and wear the big crown! Not nearly because I can do a much better job, but because I deserve it! Finally seize my out of control. At the museum opening a couple of days ago, my mom wouldn't let me cut the ribbon because she thought the safety scissors were too sharp. <laughs> Not funny. If my parents had their way, I'd spend the rest of my life throwing galas and perfecting my curtsy. It's called being a princess, Kara. What's wrong with that? I'm just saying that Hosting royal teas and going to parties sounds pretty great to most people, and don't get me started on all the shoes. Corinne, I never said my life isn't great, but all the ceremonial stuff, it's not enough. And my parents are overreacting. There's nothing dangerous about planting a garden. What am I going to do, get ambushed by a gang of Brussels sprouts? Ugh! Get away from me, you little... Corinne, don't! Sorry. Talk about overreacting. Me? You just tried to flatten a harmless butterfly. It's a bug. They're all disgusting. Even ladybugs? You can't hate ladybugs. They're so cute. They're the kittens of the insect world. 
world. Uh, Kara? You okay? I don't know. I feel kind of... weird. What's that buzzing sound? You guys hear that? Do you have a fever, headache, muscle fatigue? Did you eat the egg salad? Intestinal discomfort could be an early sign of food poisoning. Or bacterium transmitted through the ingestion of contaminated dairy, meat, even produce. I just said that. I know, but it sounded way better coming from me. Ooh, flowers. Hey. Kara? Hi, my name's Kara. What's your name? Oh, you're so pretty. Morning breath. Huh? Morning? What happened to yesterday? <laughs> hmm. I do feel 110% better. <laughs> Must have been a 24 hour bug. <laughs> Just come to me. You can do it. Come on. It's okay, Parker. Don't worry. I'll get ya. I'm trying, okay? Don't move, Parker. I'm coming. Almost finished, Your Majesty. I just need your signature here. And here. And here. Thank you, Baron. Now, after you send these off, I'd like you to reorganize my engagement calendar and color code the events in terms of priority. Christoph, could you come here for a moment? A little busy, my dear. Can it wait? Of course. I'll just tell your mother she can stay here for six months while her estate is being redecorated. Clean <laughs> up! I'll be back in a moment. Uh, darling, I'll handle it. Hello, precious. Oh! <laughs> 
Next time you enter a room, I expect you to croak or rip it or whatever it is you do. Are we clear? <laughs> Why are you even here? You're supposed to be out tracking down the ingredients for my new potion. <laughs> if it wasn't for you, I would already possess the power to destroy the king and seize the throne. So, unless you'd like to go back to that swamp you came from, find what I need and do it quickly! Seeing as that tree and I are like magnets. So, any idea what's happening? Not yet, but we've devised a diagnostic protocol guaranteed to figure it out. We already know you can fly, so we can skip question one and move straight to question two. Are you exhibiting any other powers, like super strength? Well... <laughs> Check. Agility? <laughs> else? Uh, invisibility, heat vision, ancient crowbar of destiny? A lot of superheroes are born on distant planets, but we're almost 100% sure that you're from Windermere. More like 99.9%, .9 to be statistically accurate. You weren't by any chance bitten by a radioactive spider, were you? Because that would make things easy. Always one of my favorites. <gasps> That's it! You were bit by a mutant spider? No, that butterfly at the picnic. It didn't exactly bite me. But it did kind of kiss my cheek. That sounds weird, right? No weirder than the rest of it. So, I got kissed by a magical bug, and now I have superpowers? <sighs> Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Takes more than just a cape and tights to show them what I'm made of. This is amazing. I'll save the world with lightning speed, nothing to be afraid of. Ooh. I know what you're thinking. Princess, you bring it. All fashion says you bling it. But soon you'll be singing it. Man,
of the superhero code of conduct. <laughs> There's a code? Powers cannot be used for personal gain. They can only be used to help others. Oh. <laughs> what we need to do is find you a mission. <laughs> like battling an alien invasion. <laughs> or better yet, stopping a runaway comet from hitting Earth. How is that better? Because aliens don't exist. Comets actually do. Guys, maybe I should start with something smaller and closer to home. Like maybe... <gasps> the community garden! Perfect! Normally something like that would take weeks, lots of equipment, tons of manpower. But with your powers, you could whip it together in no time. <sighs> What's wrong? My parents. There's no way I could pull it off without them finding out. Somebody would recognize the Flying Princess of Windermere, and then I'd be grounded for life. That's true. The King and Queen would never let you do it. But they might let Super Sparkle... Super Sparkle? You can't say it like that. You've got to give it some flair, like this. Super Sparkle! See? That's better. And we'll design you a costume so nobody will know it's you! It's got to be aerodynamically efficient and strong, yet lightweight and breathable. It's sparkly. Really sparkly. Let's get to work! is secure.
got me? Who's got you? in from out of nowhere. Excuse me, sir. My name is Wes Rivers, editor-in-chief of What's Up, Wes, the kingdom's leading online source of breaking news and information. You mean you write a blog in your bedroom? No. Or on a table at the coffee shop? Why don't we just focus on what happened today? Can you tell me more about it? I can try. But I tell you, kid, I saw it with my own eyes, and I still don't believe it. She get her hands on powers that were meant to be mine! Don't be ridiculous, Brute. One little girl's not going to spoil our plans. We're almost there, Bruce. We only need two more ingredients. Site, but you never showed. I'm sorry, I got a little sidetracked. But you should have seen it. I actually saved people. You know, like a real superhero. Which got me thinking about all those things I could do with my powers. Stuff that really matters. Like rescuing people, <laughs> catching criminals. <laughs> <laughs> you know, truth, justice, the Windermere way. <laughs> so, what do you think? Way ahead of you. For GPS navigation, real time tracking capabilities, emergency scanners, satellite imaging. Everything you could need to back up the modern superhero on the go. Whoa. How long have you been working on this? A couple of hours. 115 minutes to be exact. Looks like we got our first mission. It's Super Sparkle Time! on the corner of 5th and Main. On my way. I'm a lot back now.
just wash this shirt. <laughs> finally get things started. Sure, uh, if we can squeeze it in. What? We'll get to it. It's not like the garden's going anywhere, right? Technically, it's not going at all. And if people need me, I can't exactly ignore that. Have you guys seen this? Super Sparkle is the coolest ever! I'd do anything to meet her! You think she'd come here if we asked? Maybe we can invite her to your birthday party next week. Uh, maybe. Although, from what I hear, Super Sparkle's got a pretty busy schedule. <laughs> Does this guy Wes Rivers write anything that isn't about you? It's like his tenth posting this week. Just wish he'd gotten my good side. You're a superhero. Isn't every side your good side? <gasps> You get there? Yes, sir. Hello? <laughs> Can anybody hear me? <laughs> Where are you? 
celebrating Little Miss Perfect's birthday. Can't wait. <sighs> Ugh, please. Super Sparkle does it again, but who is she? More like, who cares? I can't believe this! Ten new fan sites and a tribute music video! People love me! Technically, they love Super Sparkle. But the people who love the real you are gonna be here any minute. So, you might want to finish getting ready. I am ready. Do you guys not like the dress? No, it's great! Fabulous. But it's missing something. You're right, but what? Happy birthday! <gasps> it's beautiful. Thank you. It's got full navigation, barometric altimeter, Bluetooth, a holographic view screen, Austrian crystals, and a miniature lip gloss. Um... Lip gloss? Oh, I added it. Without consulting me? I asked you when I wanted to install a universal voice translator. But that was a lame idea. She's a superhero in Windermere. Chapped lips are a real concern in high-velocity winds. So, what do you think? Mom won't let us wear these to the party unless you say it's okay. Well... Adorable! It's sparkle time! <laughs> Sorry we're late. Somebody couldn't decide on what lip gloss went with her mask. Uh, guys, did you actually read the invitation? It's not a costume party. You let Zoe and Gabby were theirs. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, these things were a lot of work. When else would we get the chance to show them off? Princess, looks like everybody is anybody is here tonight. Any chance Super Sparkle will show up? Why? Do you need to be rescued? Not that I know of. Uh, um, I was just wondering if the royal families had the chance to meet Super Sparkle in person. To thank her for what she's done. Maybe even give her a medal. Like being on the news 24-7 isn't a big enough pat on the back? Please, she isn't that great. Don't be silly, dear. Of course she is. The king and I are incredibly grateful for Super Sparkle's noble deeds. And proud of her bravery. Windermere is lucky to have such a valiant and dynamic hero in its service. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have guests to entertain. Any idea how bad I want to go up to them right now and yell, It's me! I'm Super Sparkle! I'm the one you're proud of! I thought this was about making a difference, not about taking the credit. Besides, you know what you can do. That's all that matters. The Royal Bank of Windermere's just been robbed. We'll distract your parents till we get back. Go!
Karen. Will you please locate Princess Clara immediately? Of course, Your Majesty. Right away. Since when is it my job to babysit her precious princess? Mercifully, I will be the royal errand boy much longer. isn't enough. No, she gets to be the big hero with an even bigger secret. Which I could let slip and blow the whole thing wide open. <laughs> then again... How unbelievable is this, you guys? I mean, wow! Am I right? What are you talking about? That Tara's super sparkle. <gasps> it's okay, she told me. Don't worry, my lips are sealed. Okay, I have no clue what you're talking about. Me neither. <gasps> you know what it is? What? Cupcakes. Cupcakes? How many cupcakes did you have, Corinne? A lot, right? Did you know that refined sugar can severely impact one's cognitive functioning? And memory? Guys, come on. We might not get along all the time, but Tara's family. Do you really think she wouldn't tell me? Yeah, maybe. She was there when it happened, and she probably saw that bug kiss Kara. I guess. <laughs> oh. chance I can get a statement about the robbery last night what about super sparkle does the department know who she is or where she came from great thanks for your time <laughs> always a pleasure On Ravendale? What are you? Have we met? Out of my way, Super Sparkle! Dark Sparkle's got this! What? Another one?
away and take over like that? Any idea who Dark Sparkle is? Or where she came from? No. <coughs> but with any luck, she's on her way back. I mean, come on, Sparkle Orbs. <coughs> Those are my thing. And using them on a rock slide? <laughs> Total rookie mistake. Maybe so. But you were a rookie like last week. I was never that bad. And why are you taking her side? Kira, chill. The new girl messed up. But maybe she could be an ally? There's room in the kingdom for more than one hero, right? Two might be even better. It works for us. who caught the bad guys. Where's my picture? Don't worry, defenseless creatures. I'll save you. No, I'll save you. Dark Sparkle to the rescue. Mm. Those glittering nuisances will not stand in our way. Oh, As a precaution, I'm doubling the ingredients to intensify my powers. At once I rid this realm of its king. I shall put an end to its heroes as well. Intentionally putting yourself in danger day after day? It's completely irresponsible. Is it true? You're Super Sparkle? Huh? Huh? Zoe, Gabby, you're excused. <laughs> <laughs> this nonsense stops here and now. Do you understand? But you both said you were proud of Super Sparkle's bravery. That Windermere was lucky to have such a valiant hero. That was before we knew it was our daughter who lied to us. I never lied. Not exactly. I just didn't tell you because I knew this would happen. Besides, what difference does it make? Unless you're planning to keep me locked up here forever, you can't keep me safe from every single thing that might go wrong. And even if the world's as dangerous as you think, which it isn't, by the way, I have superpowers to handle it! 
Young lady, stop that floating this instant! Kara, you may not understand this until you're older. But it's a parent's job to decide what's best for their children and protect them no matter what. Darling, one day you'll be an adult. And when that time comes, you can make your own choices. But while you live under our roof, under our rules, you are forbidden to act as Super Sparkle. Are we clear? Mom, Dad, please don't do this. That is final. <laughs> Can't afford a repeat of last time, can we? Hmm. <laughs> Good depth of color. Slightly fruity, yet bold, with just the right hint of destiny. And our timing could not be more perfect now that one of those sparkly pests has been forced into early retirement. A toast, my slimy underling. Uh, here's to me. Oh, that's odd. I don't feel anything. <laughs> Delicious! So moist and yummy. What's it called? Chicken. Kara, no need for that too. It's okay, Aunt Karina. I know she's just upset and worried about all the people who might need help. But on the bright side, the kingdom still got one superhero left, and I'm sure Dark Sparkle can handle whatever comes up. Even better, maybe. Dark Sparkle is totally awesome! No offense, Kara. Can we not talk about this? Sorry. I didn't mean to make things worse. Can you pass the salt? <laughs> Baron? How perfect. The entire royal family sharing a lovely dinner together. Oh, is that chicken? Although I do prefer mine... Barbecue. <laughs> you? Your Dark Sparkle? <laughs> Excuse me, may I have this dance? <laughs> Mind if I cut in? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
perhaps you should come work for me. Why would I want to join the losing team? <laughs> Quick! Cause there's a lot more where that Well done, my super amphibious friend! Come! We'll be safe in here. This stronghold was built to withstand any assault. Inside, girls. Quickly! Kara, you too. Mom, Dad, I can't stay here and do nothing. Not when I have the power to stop it. Kara! Mom, trust me. I can handle this. Darling, she'll be all right. Good luck! <laughs> more pressing engagement at the tower. Permission. You're not my boss. That is so typical. You only think of yourself. Me? You're one to talk. Always posing for the cameras, never letting anybody else share the spotlight, not even for a second. Do me a favor, Karen. Get your own life. Because no matter how bad you want it, you can't have mine. You think you can go it alone? Be my guest. <laughs> King Kristoff, I do hope you'll forgive the lack of protocol, but consider this my official resignation! from a slumbering giant. Oh. 
can't walk away from something like this, and neither can I. If we can divert the flow away from the castle toward the lake, maybe we can cool things off. It's our best shot. can't stand each other. Corinne, listen. What I said earlier, I was wrong. No, you weren't. I was always jealous of you. Your life just seems so much better than mine. Trust me, it isn't. Not when you consider the way I've been acting lately. And how much trouble I'm going to be in because... <laughs> <laughs> You think this is over, Twinkle Twins? Twinkle Twins? You are so going down! I have a better idea. than one. The more the merrier. Ah! <laughs> Ugh, gross! <laughs> now there's a tongue lashing for you! <laughs> <laughs> Here, you're gonna have to get used to it. We are so proud of you. Ooh, honey. Dark Sparkle, Dark Sparkle, can I be you when I grow up? Oh, that's so sweet. But I think it would be much cooler to be yourself. Hmm. <laughs> oh, give it a rest, Bruce, you slimy ninny. We wouldn't be here today, were it not for your heroism. You not only proved able to take care of yourself, you took care of us, and preserved the future of this realm. For that, we are proud of you both. Thank you, Uncle Kristoff. That means a lot, Dad. Oh, and things weren't as safe around here as I thought. But at least now, the kingdom's got two superheroes watching its back. <laughs> Sorry, take that four. <laughs> of course. 
course, your father and I won't be able to stop worrying completely. Uh, but we'll try to see things from your perspective. Thanks. But I haven't exactly been making things easy on you. Or anyone else, for that matter. Guess I lost track of why I wanted to make a difference in the first place. You weren't so bad. She kind of was. You kind of were. I know. But I've learned my lesson. Corinne and I are going to work together to make Windermere a better place. Speaking of that, don't we have a job to do? <laughs> Pleasure. Your pleasure? I'm the one who reversed the polarity of the material to eliminate drag. But I'm the one who increased the sparkleosity by 120%. Sparkleosity? That's not even a word. Well, maybe it should be. Hey! It's called a community garden, Wes. Everybody's supposed to be working. I was working. Together. As a group? I'm gonna need that back, you know. Well, then grab a shovel. That tail isn't gonna plant itself. This is payback for blowing your cover, isn't it? Totally! <laughs> Nicely done.
Oh, I'm sorry.